out here, that, like in the army, they call it a fire team wedge. Because if you look, they make two diamonds, one in the front and one in the back. In that back right corner, there's a guy carrying a radio. He is the platoon sergeant who needs to keep in contact with this guy right here that has that has the radio in his bag because he needs to keep in contact with the platoon leader who's in the middle because he controls the entire element. You have a radio guy in the front so that if they get separated, they can all communicate. Because when you're walking in the woods, you're going to be 10 to 15 meters apart because a grenade can kill within a five meter radius. So they have the two triangles with all the main guys in the middle to protect them. And with this formation, you have 360 degree security because the back two guys will walk backwards and turn around occasionally just to make sure that they're going in the same direction. The very front guy is called the point man. So you give him the distance. So if they're moving 500 meters, you're gonna tell him 500 meters. And every time he takes a step on his right foot, he'll get to a certain number. It's called a pace count. Mine's 60, so every time I step with my right foot, I go 100 meters after I get to 60. Does that make sense? Okay. The guy behind him is the compass, so they'll tell him to go at 180 degree azimuth, which is the direction, and he'll hold his compass and look at it every 50 meters. And then, depending on how the platoon leader sets it up, on one of the sides there's gonna be a rifleman, on the opposite side from him is the assistant gunner. And then the same side as the gunner is the grenade launcher. And then you'll have an extra guy that's just going to carry his weapon. The back diamond's going to be the exact same people but on opposite sides. So you have a gunner on each side, an assistant gunner on each side, a grenade guy on each side and then the guy just carrying his weapon on each side. So. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. The guy carrying, it looks like a tube. That's the machine gun. The guy next to him has a box that has the ammo in it. Because if any of them were to get captured, you don't want them to have the weapon and the ammo. If one of them dies, you don't want them to get the weapon and the ammo. So you always have it with different people throughout the thing. How much weight do you think they're carrying? On their, on their back, there's probably 75 pounds. Because when I went to this camp this last summer, we had to carry 40 pounds every day. And the machine gun weighs an extra 60. And the ammo weighs an extra 15. So.